everyone welcome to my motor vlog channel this is Karthik Gilata tuning in <coughs> sorry for my bad voice today as I'm a bit sick uh, so before I start the video let me just tell you that I have my own Instagram account so if you all wanna you know stay tuned with my videos just here yeah, follow me on the Instagram the link is in the description so let's start with the topic so today's topic is things you must check while taking the delivery of the Royal Enfield of your all and from the delivery center now i was asked to make this video from a subscriber i don't know yeah, yeah from a subscriber so today i'm making this video so let's start so the number thing number one thing you want to check from the delivery person is this thing now you see this clutch keeps on moving okay now when you are buying a buy you know when you are taking the delivery this thing will won't move so if this thing is moving just you know just tell them on the asap that this thing should not this thing is moving okay make sure that you check about this thing because it is irritating okay and there is not um, it is bad okay like you are just getting on your new bike and the clutch is still like you know not in proper condition so you should get it changed number two is make sure that all the buttons are working smoothly so when once you get the roll and fill just you know check out all the button if they are proper or not if there's any you know any kind of things coming in between the third thing you want to check out is the lights now you know it's not that important but uh, sometimes like the person from the delivery center from where I got my delivery of this bike he you know showed me all this stuff you know he started all the lights and stuff and told me personally to check so it was good but if you are at a service center where there is no one to like you know not a person assigned you to check out the bike you can do it on your own self and if there's something wrong you can tell them the next thing you want to check is for any kind of scratches all over the bike now one of my friend uh, when he got his bike he you know took it leniently forgot to check any kind of uh, you know do proper checkup of his bike and he found a scratch on his you know uh, this thing it was right here there was a small scratch here he didn't notice it but later on when he got home he found the scratch so make sure that you find for all kind of scratches on the bike you don't want it if it there just tell them to change it change the bike okay don't do any kind of repaint just tell them to change the bike the next thing is the guard now i don't know about other service center but in mumbai where uh, it's santa cruz i think yes from santa cruz uh, i got this guard it is on officially an all and filled guard i got it for 2000 bucks and it comes with one year warranty so when you're getting such kind of guards installed, make sure there is no kind of rush, no kind of cracks on it. There is no such thing. So you don't get any kind of problem. The next thing you want to check is crack shoe brakes. Now, you know, there might be some kind of cracks or something on there. So you better check the shoe brake if it's all fine or not. Now, why am I telling you so? Well, I know that the bike is purely, you know, somewhat handmade and it is you know made carefully but sometimes you know when uh, the bike just stays at the delivery place okay someone cancels the uh, order so the bike just stays at the delivery place and just stays then you know sometimes they move the bike from one place to another sometimes they shift the bike sometimes they you know give it a wash or stuff so for that thing you have to make sure that the uh, sometimes they you know they, the bike gets some kind of wear and tear so that's how a bike can get wear and tear. So it's better you just check out before you take the delivery of the bike. The next thing you want to do is make sure they clean your bike. Okay. Now, when I was getting my bike, they gave it a pressure wash, or like not a typical pressure wash. They just washed it with the pipe, and it was you know neat and clean. It was giving me neat and clean. Okay, it was cleaned up properly, and everything was working fine. And I was really happy when I took the delivery. Now, one more thing which you want to check is the speedometer odometer whatever you call it so the speedometer now when i took the delivery they uh, gave me a small test ride okay i just uh, took on one small round so i did that and the speedometer was working fine so if they uh, give you a ride just make sure that the speedometer is working and if they don't give you a ride ask them for one tell them i want to ride it once just to check if everything is going fine or not but i'm sure that no matter which service center you get it from in mean, whichever delivery center you get from until and unless it is Royal Enfield certified you will get uh, you know proper service from the company the next thing you want to check is this thing 
the fuel tank cap now there might be some kind of rust out here because if the bike is too long in the service place uh, it might get rusted a bit so just make sure you search for some kind of rust and stuff and some few spaces where there can be rust such as the you know out here in this small here there can be uh, some kind of rust even here then can be a bit of rust so just make sure you check for all the stuff before you take the delivery of this bike and the last one is missing screws okay so sometimes you know they there are screws making missing like you know there might be not some kind of mudguard screw must be missing or some of these screws not major screws okay not any kind of engine screw or something but you know just a uh, very minor screw like uh, the mudguard screw or the number plate screw or the indicator screw or some kind these kind of small small screws sometimes can be missing uh my one of my relative he got this screw this screw right here was missing from his bike so he had to you know install another screw so make sure you don't do that mistake make sure all the screws are there there are no screw missing so you get a proper fit and a healthy bike as i'll say so i hope you all enjoyed the video stay tuned for another video which i'll be making you know uploading soon like to tomorrow or day after tomorrow Hope you subscribe to my video. If you give, also you subscribe to my channel. If you like the, like my content, do give a thumbs up. If any kind of query, any options, any kind of comment, then comment down below, and do follow me on Instagram to stay tuned. See you next time.